Hello hello. hello, hello. Hello, hello, Good to see you. Nice to see you guys. How has it been? I mean, it's been such a warm reception here. How has it been for you today so far? It's been busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Phil Walters had me doing a lot of stuff, but no, it's been great. Uh, it's always gr c good to come back, and, you know, I didn't know what the time would be that I always wanted to come back and visit, but um, just worked out with the, the games I was playing with these guys, and uh, I thought I might as well put two trips into one and, and continue and come down uh, and see the Haya. So what do you think of the two periods you see? I think they look really good. Um, they they have uh, very impressed with their power play, um, and they didn't get rattled there. You know, Hamburg scores a goal, and they come back and, and scored another goal. So that's good composure by them, and uh, hopefully they can build with a bit of confidence. goes a long way. goes a long way. It's, a, it's actually been quite some time since uh, we've seen the guys play like this so probably you brought in a little well, bit of good spirit or something did maybe, you talk to them have you been in the locker room i haven't i honestly haven't had time to to get in there I, you know you don't like to be a distraction and uh i'll say hi to the guys after and you know obviously there's a lot of a lot of new guys that i don't know but just a lot of familiar faces around here that's uh it's just great to say hi Those games that you were playing or are about to play around here in Europe, did they already take place? No, we, all, we already played them. We played, uh, it's an old-timers uh, bunch of guys that play hockey for fun. And, I mean, we always play it for fun, but um, we pay to play now. We don't get paid. <laughs> so um, they were coming over. They always wanted to come and play in Europe, and they said they were going to Germany, and would I be interested? And I know a couple of the guys, but a lot I didn't know. And a lot are just recreation hockey that love to play and wanted to come to Europe and play so I joined them and it's, it was a lot of fun I'll tell you who was on that team I was I was wondering if it was probably Jason Young or somebody no no one no one like that uh, nobody a couple guys that played over here years ago um, I was probably one of the younger guys um, a lot of guys were 55 uh, in the 40s so they play it every they play once a week it's just a Canadian thing where Over here in Germany, a lot of people go and play soccer. These guys play hockey once or twice a week. So um, they wanted the experience of coming over to Europe, so that's what they did. So the papers here in Cologne spread rumors. They asked you about if you could imagine working for the Sharks um, as a scout or something like that. What's, what's, uh, what's bad? There was only well, I mean, I've never really talked to that much about it. I, I've always kept in contact when I left. There was never a didn't want to speak to anybody when I left it was always uh, an open relationship and um, yeah I, w I was always interested to find something that works and Uwe's coming in and, and what what jobs are available it's it's there but it's just you know I was there I'm always I'm in Canada you're always watching hockey there's always people that you know to talk to about certain players and if you can help in any way that's kind of what, uh, what I'd be interested in and whether that situation's there we'll figure that out down the road I could imagine you um, um, or exploring some, some prospects probably. Even you, you get to watch a lot of uh, junior hockey, I remember. Yeah, I do. I go to some junior games, but I, I don't know if those are the type of players. You can always find someone there, but uh, I think you need it. You know, it's, it'd be more American League and, and East Coast League that, the, that they would be interested in finding guys. And, um, you know, it it's, it's takes that special player to come to Europe. Not every guy enjoys it or can adapt to it, so... Um, I think you really have to do your homework on which guys you, you want to bring over and which guys can be successful over here. So did you get to talk to Uwe already, or is that, that something that's getting you? I, I talked to Uwe when he was over in North America at the World Junior Tournament, and uh, I've known Uwe for many years and, and playing together, and uh, we've always talked whenever we saw each other in, in Cologne with the, when he was passing through with the national team or whatever it may be. So that, that has always been there, and uh, I'm sure we'll talk when I'm over here. So what is retirement like? Uh, it's been, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I'm very busy. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's, it always <laughs> seems to be busy. And everyone asks, what are you doing? And uh, yeah, I got, I got involved with this nutritional company called Monavi. And uh, uh, it's, it's been taking a lot of my time. It's not full time. It's kind of do it when you want. And um, it's just promoting a product that I really believe in and, and trying to uh, promote it to people and uh, if they're interested it's, uh, it's about health and wealth and, and if uh, you know people are interested that's that's what we do so but your family gets to see you way more oh often yes than yes yes that's uh, it's it's great being back home there's something about home that you there always be home so i've enjoyed being back in canada of course i miss being over here i miss the the whole 
hockey lifestyle, it was great. And uh, being, having that competitive part, I still play two, three, four times a week, so I still get that chance to be competitive. And, uh, and but it's just at a at a totally different level. Totally different level. But you didn't hang them up for good, so that's, that's no. I had uh, I actually had another back surgery last year, so I had to take a oh. uh, couple months off and, and make sure it was it was right this time. And uh, Yeah, so it was just a matter of getting healthy again, and, uh, and I feel good now. So is this the final day of your visit in Europe? Will you leave no, tomorrow? No, I just I just came from. Uh, we were in Prague and just came there from there today, and uh, I'm here till Sunday. Till Sunday, that makes another home game. You could probably attend on Friday. If yes, that fits yes. Your well, schedule. that was that was kind of what I was trying to schedule, so you can see a couple of games, not just one game, and uh, so it worked out with this trip, and then and staying a couple couple extra days. It's. Uh, It's a long way to come, so you might as well make it worth the while. So, but you will be here next Friday as yeah, well. Yeah, that's, that's nobody the plan. was really aware of that because everyone went completely, um, you know, nostalgic when when Philip announced that you would be here today. Everyone was like, "Oh my God, Dave's back! We need to we need to retire his number, whatever." Everyone <laughs> went completely crazy about it. How did you? Uh, how did you? I got to if they do that, I want another trip. That's, enough. <laughs> that's a good excuse to come back. Um, no, it was I plan to come but uh, philip and i i just want to let him know but maybe friday i can sit back and enjoy it and uh soak it all in and tonight's been a little busy but uh, it's all good it's all good uh what was it like to talk to the fans what did they tell you out there when you were signing autographs i just it was nice to see everybody nice to, to see me again and uh likewise i mean it was a great reception i got from the, the fans it was You know, was when I left and when I came back, so I was just more nervous trying to make sure I didn't fall on the ice. So I told Philip he does. I could have worn my skates; it would have made it a lot easier. But <laughs> you looked a little bit moved when you went out uh, on the ice for the ceremonial face-off in the beginning. Well, yeah, it was uh, surprising. I was trying to watch. I was really concentrated. I didn't fall because it was very slippery and. Uh, if I uh, if, if the ice was rough, it's not so bad. But when it's wet and fresh, then. Uh, I just didn't want to go on my on my bum too bad. So, what are your plans for the next days besides coming to the next? Uh, home well, I'm going to promote my product a little bit to some people I I want to share it with. Just people can try it, then uh, then they have an idea what it's about, and, and just kind of it's all word of mouth. It's multi level marketing, but it's uh, just networking with people and telling people about it, so and letting people try it. So that's kind of my plan: visit, relax a little bit, and just say hi to people. Okay. Best of luck for that, and uh, enjoy your time while okay. you're being here. Thanks for stopping by, no and no all problems. the very best My for pleasure. you. All right. Good luck to you guys. Thank you.